Okay. Now I figured out how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is go to edit and you gotta go make solid. Okay? Make solid actually makes the whole thing into something you can actually edit. So we probably want the accuracy to be reasonably high, otherwise we get all of these sort of ridges that we don't really want. And change that to accurate and we can give it a reasonably high mesh density and play with these things. Okay, now it's it's just yep. See that? So see how it made it a lot nicer and neater and a lot more like what we wanted. Okay. So now we've got the original and we've got the new. So that one there, we can just get rid of that. Okay. So now we've got what we need to work with. Okay, we can sculpt this and we can do all kinds of things. Um, we can use the flatten tool. I probably want to make that a bit smaller and I probably want to look at it from here and um, we can get rid of some of this stuff that I didn't really like. I probably didn't want to do that. That didn't look very good. But, I mean, this sculpting one, I think you all had a bit of practice with it, and you probably should be able to get it. Um, most of you didn't have too much trouble with it. There's flattened ones, there's, you know, I probably want to increase the strength on that. We could maybe change the brush to something like that, and then maybe a draw one. We could maybe pull that out a little bit, you know, to make it more. What we want, I mean, you can just fiddle around with this to do pretty much what you want. I mean, I think you all had a reasonably good handle on it. You could just try these different tools, um, see what they do for you. I mean, I found that I like doing things a certain way, but. like that. Here we go. That brings it out a bit. So you can... Oh. Yeah, because my computer is glitching a little bit, but you guys should be right with that, I think. So you can do... Oh, I put all kinds of weird stuff on my shoe, which is probably not helping that much. But I think you do get the general idea. And then when you've finished, you can um, save as... And you can save it as a mesh mixer format, or you can actually export it and you can extort it as an STL and you save it as what you want and then you'll be able to print what you've actually made. Okay, thanks guys.